In this video, I'll be covering how to handle minutely variables in a custom data entry form. So let's say you have a situation where you have to track the combined filter effluent pH and chlorine residual. And if the pH is not within a certain range, they want you to pretty much immediately resample it uh, to verify but we want to track these data points so this could be considered let's say they want you to do it uh, in the morning in the afternoon 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. let's say and in this case if you have to resample it you can't set that up as like an hourly variable because the one entry is at 8 a.m. and the next one you might take it a minute or two later so it's at 802 a.m. if it's an hourly variable you can't have two values in that data slot so we have to set it up as a minutely variable so I'm going to go ahead and show you two ways you can handle this in custom data entry. So I go to design custom data entry and first I'm just going to locate daily detail variables into the form. So I go ahead, I click on that and I'm going to hit my three dots. It's filtered the list only to non-daily variables. So in this case I want to enter in my pH. So I choose it and it says I want to enter data for up to 24 values. In this case, I'm just going to enter it once. And I want to go to heading, and I'm going to go to, let's say, variable number, variable name, and units. I go ahead and click OK, and it locates that data in. Now I go locate daily detail variable again. And I go to my TRC variable. It's got all the same options checked. So all I need to do is click OK. So now I've set up a data entry form that will allow me to enter in one value. Well, two values for one time of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And I'm just going to call this uh, T1 for Test 1. And I'm going to put it in my group Custom Data Entry Forms. Close out of there and let's go use that form now. So I go to Data Entry Forms go to custom, I see my T1 form and I go ahead and I click open and I can come in here and notice up here it says you're going to be entering data for 1113 at 12 a.m. So what I can do is I can say well no I'm going to enter data at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. and I click go there it is and now I can type in my pH at 8 a.m. is let's say 8.2 and it says, hey, it's outside the range. This means I'm supposed to resample. So I click yes. And I go to TRC. And my TRC is, let's say, on combined filter effluent. I don't have much chlorine there. Go ahead and hit enter. I can click save. And now what I could do is change this time to, say, 8.01. And then enter my data for 8.01. So whatever time you set here is where those slots. So again, if I go back to 8 and click Go, it's going to load that data up that I had there. So that's one way to do it. Now, this doesn't work as good as I'd like to have both those kind of uh, times on my form so I can just enter it. I don't have to keep going back and forth to my change my start date. So this works in certain cases. In this case, I want to improve it a little bit. So I'm going to close out of here, and I'm going to start designing a new form. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to locate and now I'm going to go specifically to the minutely variable one. What the minutely variable one allows you to do is it allows you to set up multiple cells and then you'll have the time in cells that are linked to it so that you could type in 8 a.m. and then 802 and whatever times you want and it'll store the data for the times entered here based on the date that you pull up at the top when you're using the form. So again, let's do the same thing again. I'm going to go to Combine Filter Effluent. I, I want to enter in my pH. And right here, I want to enter up to, let's say, four values for the day. And I want to create associated time cell data. Okay. Go ahead and click OK. And in this case, I need to write down that this is my uh, CFE pH. And right beside it, I can locate four more variables, four more minutely data slots, I should say, for that other variable. But in this case, I'm going to say, listen, when I take the sample, I take them and I do them together. So I don't need a separate time. So I want to link it to column B. So it'll link 
D2 to B2, D3 to B2, so forth and so on. Go ahead and click OK. And here I need to again say this is C, F, E, uh, T, R, C. OK. I can also say, remember I said we're supposed to take this at 8 a.m. So if I come in here, I can set this one, my default time to 8 a.m. If I have to do a resample, let's say by default we'd expect you to do it about two minutes after. And I'm sorry, I'm typing in the times wrong here. This is 8.02. This is eight minutes after midnight, so I have to correct it. And then here, I want to make it 4 p.m., which would be, uh, what is that, uh, 1600. And here I'll do 1602. And here I'm going to label these two resamples. Resample if needed. Copy that text up. So again, now I've designed a what I would consider a very ugly form, but it's going to illustrate what we want to do. Again, I would want to <laughs> probably make this a little prettier, draw some borders, move it around, uh, label stuff AM and PM sample. But in this case, we're just illustrating how this minutely data entry can work. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And again, I'm going to give it a name of T2. I'm going to store it in custom data entry. Go ahead and click OK. Close out of here. Go back to data manager, data entry. Click on my custom data entry group. Click open and it pulls up the form. Now the first thing you notice is it says, oh, well, I did find data. So this is data linked to the first stop, slot, so it put it at 8 a.m. And if I go in here now, and i got to do a resample because of that 8.2, and say, okay, now it's 7.9, which is more normal. The associated chlorine residual is 0.24, so it hardly even changed in two minutes. My PM reading is 7.5. My chlorine residual is 0.27. And in this case, I don't need to resample, okay? So I can go ahead and click Save, at Data Save. So for 11.13, it pulls up the first, second, and third values. Now, if I wanted to change this, it turns out that I actually did it at 8.05. I can edit the time here and just make this edit this 8.05. And when I hit Enter, notice that my Save button gets enabled. That's telling me that, hey, you've moved data. This data is now at 8.05 AM. So I go ahead and click Save. And I've moved that data from 802 to 805. So you have four slots and you set the default, but you can type in any times here. So you can essentially enter up to four values for any time during the day using this technique. If you didn't have this technique, you may have to, like I said, go back and forth, only set up one data entry slot and keep changing your time, depending on what you're trying to accomplish that may work for you. If you did it with a monthly data entry form, you're going to double click on the cell and it's going to bring up 1,440 slots each minute of the day. And you have to scroll all the way down to 8 a.m., enter in the value, scroll to 802, enter your value, scroll all the way down to 4 p.m. And it becomes very cumbersome to find that slot out of 1,000. So this is an, a nice way that you can design your forms, make it easy to get the data entered correctly. Thank you.